We are out in Westfield Culver City, aka Fox Hills Mall for all you old farts like me. <laughs> That's what we've called it for the last 30 years. But yeah. Um, yeah, there's a Sheik. They do have their pickup today for the Jordan 1s that I just picked up. I'm actually gonna scope the situation out. I'm gonna talk to some people and then if it's worth it, I might sit and wait in line for the unclean pier. So yeah, let's see what happens. All right, so what's probably gonna happen, I'm gonna hit up the Sheiks, I'm gonna see the rest of the mall, and, and then we're gonna assess later on whether I'm gonna sit here and start a line right here, probably around noon. Their Jordan wall, the presentation here is just superb. But yeah, do still got these here. What size is this? This is a women's, and this is size 12. So that's a 10 and a half in men's. Okay, that's my size right here. These are the, what, the beat roots, right? That's what they're calling these. Does come with all that. Does come with all the bling up front. These are on sale, but these are just super small, size five and a half. I already asked a few weeks ago if they have my size in these. They definitely do not. But yeah, this is. Th these are one of my favorite Jordan twos, man. Kind of wish I got them. Day of. Got these one lows as well. Yeah, these are okay. I don't know. Color's a little little out there for me. Does have like the synthetic snakeskin kind of material. Okay. Okay, they got a couple of retros here. Okay. I think this has been the same for the last couple of weeks. So, you got the seven hairs right there. And that's a size 10. Okay. Got the reverse breads. These are nine and a half. This is the first version of the reverse breads. And then got the Jordan 1 Lowe's. That's what I'm wearing now. But I swear to God, my, my leather feels so much better. Wait, hold up. All right, so these are the, the two. This is a men's and this is a women's. The one I'm wearing is a women's pair. It's a size 12. And look at the leather. Like, it is so much stiffer. See, but this is also, like, not tumbled leather right here. And this is tumbled leather. But the quality of this leather is just, I don't know, in my opinion, it's just so much nicer because it's... Wow, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy, everything else is pretty much the same. Got the Jordan 23 right there, 23 right there. It's just the leather quality is the only thing that they switched up. Use tumbled leather versus non-tumbled leather. But the women's is like way softer. Oh, that's interesting. Do got these bad boys as well. Got the mids, these are the, the all black ones I guess. Yeah. Do you got a couple things on sale. This, these are normally $70, off, $10 off. These are the Puma suede. Yeah, the pool, uh, the suede they use not bad, not too bad. Future Riders kind of remind me of the Nintendo ones, but uh, but yeah. Were these on sale last time? I, I feel like I've seen these for a little bit cheaper. But yeah, normally a buck twenty down to seventy. Not too bad. These are the Clyde, the, the Clyde basketball, the Clyde hoops, the Clyde hardwood, Clyde hardwood. Okay, seventy bucks. That's not too bad. These actually don't look bad. I'm kind of liking these more and more. I see them. Got the pink version as well. I'll go for 70. Oh, okay, do got these. Did I see these on sale last time? I still don't remember. They have the Chuck 70s, the wool version. Go for 60 bucks. Normally they're what 85, 95. Normal price. Normal price is 95 bucks. Wow. These as well. So 35 dollars off for these as well. Maroon colorway is actually pretty dope. Actually looks nice. Got some interesting chucks right here. Um, like a knit material up top. Chuck fly knits. These are normally a buck ten, going for a hundred. Throw that Nike material on top. Okay. And we got the fly leather material right here. Or is this fly leather? It looks like it. Like that recycled material. No, but it's just regular fly leather. Uh, regular fly knit. Seventy dollars. Okay. These are normally a buck ten. So. No discount, not bad, not bad. Dang, do you got some chucks? Oh, these aren't chucks, these are one of the other ones I forgot. Oh, these are all-stars, okay, my bad. Do you got the all-stars right here? And yeah, this is all suede, $35. I don't know about this color, but the material is just like fantastic. Holy crap, this material is good. At 35 bucks, normally like what, 65 or something, okay. Some more chucks on sale, normally 65 down to 40 for these. And this is, Oh, it's like a 3M material or something, okay. 3M material, so we gotta check out the 3M. That's pretty dope, dude, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty dope, 40 bucks, normally 65. I've never seen one like this with 3M. That's, this would be dope to rock at night, dude. Got these old school joints, like, what are these, like the uh, nylon material, going for 75, normally 80. So that's not bad, that's not bad. The last two were like way up top, they're on sale, nobody knows, because you can't even see them. 
unless you're like seven feet tall. The Nike basketball area, not too much going on here. Kind of the same stuff that we've seen everywhere else. Yeah, like the apparel, we've talked about it. Apparel is just amazing here. They got the dopest selection of apparel. Not too much going on sale right now. So um, now I'm gonna talk to them about the raffle. We're gonna head out. But yeah, the apparel's just, the apparel's dope. The jerseys, just the dopest we've ever seen. I did cover that in a video just a few, like a week ago or something. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll cover that in the next one. All right, I did talk about the Jordan 1 Silver Toe Unclaimed Pairs at Cheeks. I did talk to the workers there and they did mention that they will not be released at 1 p.m. as I was hoping or as I thought. They're actually going to be releasing those tomorrow, which is the day you guys are going to be watching this video. They are releasing them first thing in the morning, so there's probably going to be a line, like first thing in the morning. I was actually wondering if I should, if it's worth it. The only problem is I had planned to call them like around 7 o'clock. They closed at 8 today. I had planned to call them at 7 o'clock to see if they have any pairs left, see if it's even worth it, to see you know, what I'd be waiting for. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to call. I, I'm going to be honest, I forgot. Um, I ended up finding some super dope stuff later in the afternoon or later in the evening. So I just got really distracted. All right, they are filming a movie or getting ready to film a movie or something. Yeah, it's hilarious because all the restaurants and stuff, they, they, they were closed. But these fools were able to shoot movies and stuff. Man, it's kind of jacked up. Jacked up, you guys. Enough of the political commentary. Let's go see what's up at the next. All right, there is a JD Sports. Let's, let's see what's going on here. They do have the... PSG, uh, they do have the Paris G gear. Let's see if they got the PSG ones. Let's see if they got them. Don't see any PSG ones. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? let's check the counter. They always have the heat in the counter. Oh, what? What? Really? They got the dunks? What? Oh, but it's just the toddlers, I think. I don't think, yeah, they don't have any grade school. If they had grade school, I would get one for one of my people. I did check, they didn't have any of the grade schools. But yeah, they got they got a couple Jordan ones. Oh, they were late with their Jordan one shipments too, so they didn't get those uh, the Jordan one silver toes. Um, but yeah, let's let's look around. Uh, man, I was wondering if I should get these because these are these are pretty dope. These are the Jordan one lasers, laser blue. Is that what it's called? But yeah, these are man. The color's not bad. I'm just like I said, the material not the biggest fan of. But you don't have to have the dopest material in every pair, right? Because um, yeah, if you're just running around and stuff, like, you don't want to mess up your J's anyway. So, like, if you get one of these and they get messed up, you know, not the biggest deal. But, yeah, that, that's that's pretty dope. Like, we've only seen that a couple times. It's pretty dope colorway, especially if you're, like, a Lakers fan or something. It's not bad at all. And then they do got the reverses. Like, these were all sold out, and then the second one came out, and then we saw the second ones, and then now these are making a comeback. So, restocks? Like, I don't know. I'm so confused. This is size nine and a half right here. Got the mids, more mids. And I got these bad boys. We've seen these at plenty of spots. And then the 13s, okay. All right, let's, let's go check out the rest of the stuff. Uh, not seeing too many sales tax, but yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely look it up. We'll see what's up. It's coming out with some sales, okay. The, the Climate Cools, these are pretty dang comfortable. A little bright though, a little bright for me. I did, I bought one of those for hella cheap. Got some slight sales on the, what's that, the 21s? Are these the 20s or 21s? Oh, the Ultra Boost 20s. Yeah, slight sales. Like we saw these a while back. These are the new 4Ds. Uh, yeah, the newest one. I don't know. It kind of feels weird with the. There's like a little plastic skirt right there. I don't really know what that's for. Um, if any of you guys know, let me know. Because I think these look so much better. The one with the Ultra Boost upper and then the regular 4D bottom. That looks way better. Okay, the craters on sale. Even at the retail shops now, we've seen them at the outlets for a bit. The Visions on sale. Normally a buck 40. Couple more Visions. Okay. Got a couple of these old school ones. What is these? The Nike Challenger OGs. They definitely are OGs. 15 bucks off, I guess. Multiple colorways. I guess they haven't been bought because they're on sale. And yeah, fourth colorway right there. Bosco showed these a couple weeks ago, man. I know Fila like just don't sell, so I'm gonna have to wait, but I'm gonna grab these. Why? Not because they're the dopest, but because um, these were the dopest ones I had when I was in high school. These are the dopest sneakers I had in high school. These are the Jerry Stackhouses. These are the Pistons for a minute. And that fool was legit too. All you old people know. <laughs> you old fools like me know. 
If it was legit. All right, these are going for 90 bucks. Of course, of course, with the feelers, everybody loves the Grant Hills. Well, most people love the Grant Hills. Buck 20 for these. This is the OG colorway. Does have the patent leather up top. Yeah, this is the OG one, man. Um, I guess they re-released them? I don't think they have the dates and stuff like they do with the Nikes, but yeah, these just came out two years ago and they came out with more? Okay, all right. Wait, I see some hats up there. What are, ooh, whoa. Look at this, that's dope. That's a bull's hat, it is a snapback. But normally, what, 35 bucks? Now it's down to, normally it's $34, down to 25, okay. Like I guess all their NBA ones, the, this definitely isn't as dope as the Bulls one with the fake chrome on it, because I doubt that's real. But, um, but yeah, these are normally 30 down to 25. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely a plastic. Not definitely a plastic. But it's still dope though, man, because it looks like it's chrome. I think those are the only ones on sale. The Lakers and the 76ers, not on sale. Yeah, see, these are clean, dude. All black. $34. I'm going to have to get one of these eventually. I like fitted hats, though. I don't like... Yeah, I'm kind of bougie, I guess, when it comes to hats. I'm going to have to hit up... Uh, Definitely gonna have to hit up a lids outlet, man, because, yeah, they be having sales. Yeah, see, some of these are just so, yeah, see, it's all embroidered on there. It does have suede on the front, too. It might be a synthetic suede, but it is hella soft. This is dope. $34 for that. That's totally worth it. Got the championship stuff there, too. That's dope. Man, that stuff with the plastic on front, that just looks dope. Oh, flat black. 34 for those. That's what's up. Yankees, nobody cares about the Yankees, right? <laughs> but there's an embroidered one right there, and then there's the one with the little plastic. I kind of like the one with the plastic on there. I don't know. I spent about 40 bucks for those. All right, let's go see what's up with the women's section over here. Now, look at these look interesting. What the heck are these? Oh, these are daybreaks. The the glitterness kind of kind of messed with me. I didn't. What the heck? All right, not bad. Not bad. Go for 100 bucks. They got some new school Reeboks Legacy 83s go for 65. Slight sale on those NMDs. We saw these at the clearance center. This is the women's version. Um, yeah, buck 20 for these. I guess all the Air Max 90s are back to reg regular price. I was like, this is a women's size, but that's you. 10 size 12. That's a 10 and a half. That's like my size pretty much. Got like some small sales, not like crazy sales to be honest. Like even these, only $30 off. $60 off these. These are the Air Max 360s. Vapor Max 360s, like I said. What do think about these? Like a little Valentine's Day shoe or something? I got multiple hearts on it. Made with love, okay. It's going for $65, okay. Oh, they still got these available. Oh, dang, I did not notice, like, that's like stiff. Holy crap, that's like stiff. I didn't know the tongue was that stiff. 200 for these bad boys. Oh, what size is this? Size seven right here. Size seven women's though. Then we got a size eight right here as well. Like, wow, that's just like hella stiff. I don't know about that. And then, you know, the back tab always plastic or, yeah, not rubber, it's totally plastic, super hard, okay. Yeah, that's about it, you guys. Next up, we do got a foot action. This foot action is actually usually pretty dope. Um, yeah, let's see what they got. This mall open, so this place is like hella empty. I think I'm the only customer in here. Dang, that's like, that's like extra generic, bro. Extra generic. I feel like I'm at like a generic shoe store because <laughs> they don't have any retros. Zero retro thing. They do got the Jumpman Pros. I think these are like one of the dopest non-signature Jordans. I don't know. Are these worth it for about 20? Maybe if like they went under 100, maybe they're worth it. Like, like they don't look too bad. They're actually pretty dope. They do got some Jordan Max 200s. These are a kids version. Not too bad. That price is like not bad at all because they're normally 100 bucks or 40 dollars off. All right, they do have one retro. I guess I missed it. But yeah, these are the, um, I don't know, reverse by 2.0. Is that what they're calling these? I don't remember. But yeah, I think this is size 11. Yeah, size 11. I guess they got a little something. Okay. All right, we're going to check out some of the other stuff. Um, yeah, I don't see too many sales tech though. It's just, it's just not there. They do got these, the questions. These are the ones where you can like tear it off. Who was this? I don't know, is this a collab with somebody? I don't know, but this is the one, I think it's like the linen one where you could actually take the top layer off. I feel like they've been doing that quite a few times with some of the questions. A buck 50 for these, okay. Do you got the Vans right here? That's kind of cool, I guess. Vans coming out with a little different stuff. Only got a couple sales. 
Got a bunch of stuff written in different uh, languages. I can't really read any of them. Kuk oh, that just means Korean. That's funny. Okay, I guess I couldn't read one. That's about it. 35 bucks normally. 60? No, normally 55. Okay. Okay, do got some slip-ons. Normally 55 for these, so 20 off for these. 20 off for those bad boys as well. <clears throat> got these leather ones. These normally 70 down to 45. And then yeah, these, these like they use some decent leather on these. Like the leather is not bad. I don't know if it's synthetic or real, but 75 down to 50, okay. It is Jordan 1 pickup day, so I am wearing some Jordan 1 lows. Um, yeah, you guys kind of saw earlier when I compared it with the men's. This is a women's Jordan 1 low. The leather, I'm telling you, there's a big difference in leather. I don't know what, why that happened or why that is. But yeah, that was the only thing. Um, I actually was going to wear Jordan 1 high, but I couldn't find one that matched the outfit. So yeah, I just went with these bad boys. Yeah, not too bad. We kind of talked about it in my live. Like, I feel like a lot of the deals at the malls are kind of going away you know like they're kind of going back to regular prices we're definitely gonna be hitting up the nike outlets a lot more this week they don't have any sales but we're gonna hit them up we're gonna try to find something all right so yeah let's let's kind of check out the kids and then go to the next spot i did check by the women's and they really didn't have anything dope i do need something for my kid i don't know i need to buy him a pair of sneakers today so we're definitely gonna be checking the kids a lot more than normal do you have a bunch of different vapor max that's I don't know. He's not into sneakers like that, so I'm not going to spend that much, though. <laughs> this is the Japanese version of the NMDs right here for the ones where they cover different countries. It probably says Tokyo right here because it is Japan. Oh, yeah, those, those aren't bad. They're not bad. A couple other NMDs that are cheaper. And then, yeah, 100, 110 for these Ultra Boots. That's not too bad. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. $80 for these. These are normally $100, so $20 off. And that one right there, fifty dollars, fifty bucks for kids. Wow, these are fifty percent off. That's not bad. I don't know if you'd like the gold. My kid does like black and white, but I don't know if you'd like the gold. But yeah, these would be dope because, like, it would scuff up a lot more for the kids because this does have gold underneath. So like kids wearing this, I think would be doper than adults because they'd get scuffed up more. So it would actually look doper for kids. That's that's dope. Got a bunch of vans on sale, pretty decent prices. Got some RSX right there, going for 60. All right, not feeling anything here. Um, yeah, there's a Champs. There's also a Foot Locker. I, I haven't stopped by the Foot Locker, so yeah, let's, let's check both of those out. All right. Well, okay, another stop, you guys. Champs, this is one of the higher volume Champs in LA. I think this might be like the second highest in volume after the one in, shoot, where is that, Southgate, I think? Yeah, so, um, yeah, let's go check it out. Check it out. I always put uh, this place down whenever I have a raffle because they get, I think they get more than most other spots. I did talk to the man who works here. Um, he did say that the Jordan 1 Silver Toes, um, yeah, they were taken off. Uh, they were taken off champs because they didn't get them. They didn't get them. So they might be re-raffled on the app. So we'll see. We'll see if that happens. Um, yeah, he also said the Dunks might go back on the raffle. We'll see. I haven't seen that too many times in the past, but... We'll see. We'll see. They did do that with the uh, 350 bread. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So you got these. We just saw these at that other spot. And then I'm surprised to see these here. These are hella weird because they originally listed these as highs, Jordan 1 highs. And then they listed them as Jordan 1 mids. After they sold like three or four of them, they listed them as mids. I was wondering why these would be cheaper than the other ones, the other uh, Jordan 1 highs, but. If it's a mid, it makes sense. But everybody had these as a Jordan 1 high, which is kind of interesting. This is a new buck. It looks like a synthetic new buck. It is super, super, super soft. But yeah, buck 40 for these. The PSG ones sold out hella quick. The all, all red ones sold out hella quick. The other ones, not as quick. But yeah, these look super dope. I think they have zoom air in it too. Yeah, I didn't take I didn't take the, the insole off, but it does feel like it has zoom air. So yeah, these look hella comfy, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Didn't we just see these at that other spot for 100 bucks? Yeah, man. Pretty dope. They got a bunch of them here. Or they got four different colorways going for $80. Telling you, I think these are the dopest non-signature Jordans. Yeah, I really do think so. Not bad. I think I glossed over these. Yeah, they do got these here. These are a size 12. 
Got the mid all-stars? Is that what they call these? The carbon fibers? I don't know. Then we got these bad boys as well. We've been seeing a lot of the Presto React on sale. Pretty much the same here. Bunch of the elements as well. The elements as well as the, uh, what's that, the React Visions? Pretty much the same thing. All right, we are looking for some GS pairs for my buddy. My buddy meaning my kids. <laughs> so yeah, let's see if they got any, anything that's super dope. They do have some decent sales. The Kyrie bread right there, not too bad. LeBron's, he doesn't really like basketball shoes though. Zoom Freak 2's pretty cheap. Zoom Freak 1's. Same price as the Zoom Freak 2, it's kind of weird. Some React Visions, the Zoom 92s. Oh, I thought those other ones were the Jumpman Pros. Okay, this is the Jumpman Pros. All right, y'all gonna roast me now. Oh, well, can't get it right all the time. <laughs> Air Force One Lowe's, we did see this on sale. It's an interesting material. Like some synthetic woven material, $60, okay. 270 React, so okay. So you got some Air Max Plus, holy crap. Like the light is like all up on me. You can see the shadows right there, dang, it's bright as hell. 100 bucks for these. Well, I was just about to say, not seeing much. And then we see these down down in price, that's crazy. Yeah, both of these, both of these on sale, normally a buck 50, oh, normally a buck 40, so $20 off? Yeah, that's dope, these are normally a buck 40, these are normally a buck 50. That's dope, dude, that's dope, because I'm a fan of the Iversons, I need to get one eventually. Just haven't found the right colorway yet. I did go for the Lakers one, I did get a fat L on those. Yeah, not too much else there, not too much else. I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up and go to the next shop, you guys. All right, last stop, we are gonna check out this Foot Locker real quick. Uh, this is the one where they told me I can't film here, so I don't know, we'll give it a try, shit, you know. But what are they gonna say? Hey, get out of here, whatever. I haven't really seen anything crazy yet. Um, yeah, let's, let's check a look at the back. Got a couple of mids. Selection not crazy, but uh, yeah, this is a smaller size, a size 10, so a little bit smaller than that other spot. Kind of seeing the same stuff, haven't, not seen too much unique stuff here. Pretty much the same thing in all my other videos. So let's just check out the kids, because I do need something for my kiddo. Not really seen too much in the kids. Uh, let's wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up, and we're going to move on to the next spot. All right, guys, that was the vlog, you guys. I think I got a whole lot of really good information. Um, yeah, for those of you guys who stick till the end. Uh, I think I talked about this, but I'm gonna talk about it a little further. Um, so apparently JD Sports here did not get their shipment of the Jordan 1s. I don't know exactly how they're gonna do it, how, if they're gonna give it a first come first serve, if they're gonna have a raffle, I have no clue. He, the worker didn't know. The champs here also didn't get their shipment as well. He did say that's why they pulled the raffle on, on the champs app, so that's why it was taken. I thought it was uh, so they could move it to footlock or something but apparently not they just didn't get their pairs and i don't think finish line got their pairs either so it does look like there are still going to be some more jordan ones available maybe that's why these were so hard to get because a lot of places didn't get their shipments i have no clue but it was really really dope getting that information hopefully you guys can do something with it if you guys really want these there might be pairs available we'll see you know like if you, maybe you need inside info later maybe they'll be on the app well, i don't know but make sure you guys look out for it Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this information is useful, you guys. I'm trying to provide you guys with info and just, instead of just showing you sneakers in there. Make sure you help a boy up. Make sure you press that like button. Click that subscribe button if you are new to the channel because I do drop a ton of videos. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I provide a, as much information as pretty much anybody else out there as well as showing you guys prices and stuff like that. Definitely co more consistent than everybody else. So yeah, make sure you help a boy up. Make sure you subscribe. And you guys know I'm going to have more videos. See you guys next one. Peace. I don't know why this just dawned on me. I just realized I didn't clean up my LeBrons. LeBron's still got a bunch of crap on the on the bottom. Damn, dude. I don't even have one with me. They're at home. But I don't know why I thought of that for some reason. Okay. All right, now we're done. Official. <laughs>